What is going on guys? Today we have FIFA 20 official gameplay trailer review, reaction, what have you. I have watched the first 20 seconds of this as I recorded it on like this screen and then thought, why am I not in full screen? I, yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but I've come back. I thought, you know what, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to retry. Um, obviously, I've had a few points that I can kind of reiterate. Um, if you want to find this, EA's channel on YouTube, easiest way to find it. I've not watched all of it because I've seen a few other people do it. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to save it. I want to make a reaction on it, see what it's like, um, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to whack it in full screen mode and take a look at the first few seconds. So uh, new gameplay feature, as I said. Um, set piece rewrite. Uh, rewrite. Re right, <laughs> can't, can't say that right. So now we're picking our target. Um, so uh, to reiterate, to start with, I thought it it doesn't look very. Like it, do, it doesn't doesn't look very realistic when it comes to how the ball curves in like that. But I suppose you do get that. I, I suppose when looking at it again, um, and I think like I well, like I said before. In FIFA's, we've went from having it literally where for a penalty, it's either left, right, or straight on. You literally, all you have to do is be and aim. It doesn't matter if you aim completely left, it won't miss. So we've gone from that to then having the power option and obviously the direction. So obviously, if you whack B too hard, it will go over. If you put it too little, it won't go in. So we've had that quite a few years now actually um, and I think a lot of people have got the hang of that and I think it's time for a, a, a rewrite as such um, and I think they're going to make it a bit more technical a bit more difficult to do um, so people are not just banging in penalties banging in free kicks every moment of the day um, so I like that I think that's really good I like the penalties and we just got on to the free kick side of this so I noticed this little uh, dome at the top there um, that I'm assuming is dip Obviously, as you can see on the bottom, you've got after you press B and then top spin. That for me is very interesting. It could really change the free kick element of this game as I'm pretty sure you can do outside of the foot. But for me, I have no clue how you do that and I have never once seen anyone attempt it. Um, so this could be very interesting to see. Um, a really, really good way to do a free kick. You can get that knuckleball really nice. Um, and actually, I didn't even see that bit, but knuckleball there. We've got some nice celebrations. Introducing dynamic 1v1s. Okay. In attack. Okay. So it's got that. Oh, window. The only issue is they have got to get that right. In fact, I'm going to watch it all. And then I'm going to. Okay. So that was it all. So we'll watch that again without me interrupting. Um, and then we'll go back. Introducing dynamic 1v1s. So we've got the little turn. Beautiful fake shot. The, the ball roll. So the one thing for me. They have got to get that right. That will be incredibly frustrating if that is the new OP method. They did talk about in pitch notes that they will um, kind of, what was it? The chance of failing a skill move when chaining is um, decreased or, or it is more prominent that it will fail. Um, to, no, so you can't basically do four or five lacroquettas uh, lac in a row. Um, that was the main thing in this FIFA. But I think... It's it's all well and good stopping that, but there's gonna be another way. That ball roll looks like it, like that uh, ball roll back doesn't look like it's actually gonna fail because all you're doing is going back. Are you gonna tell me that he's just gonna miss the ball randomly? I don't see Ronaldo doing that in real life. So they've got to make it realistic, but they've got to make it work. The problem I think they're having is they're introdu introducing, especially in this game, they had time finishing, they had some really nice skill moves, and I think the chain of skill moves is nice as long as it's not the exact same move. Like if you're doing some step overs into a rubbery, uh, into like say a, a McGeady spin, then flick up, then shot, it looks nice. And I think that is something we like in the game. It's when it's OP that La Croqueta can be done five times, spin it with an El Tornado and score. Then it becomes repetitive. It becomes just the meta of the game. And I think the main thing is they've got to get it. I don't know how because I think that it's all well and good me criticizing and saying they've got to get it right. They've got to do this. They've got to do that. I just hope they know what they're doing with this. There's always going to be a meta of the game. That's just FIFA. You're going to have it because there's going to be one thing that is better than everything else. That's just general game management. Like you look in Gears of War, you had the, the punch, uh, what is it, the two-piece, the, two the, the punch and then the shotgun. 
in every game there's always going to be that something that's more effective than anything else same in defense same in goalkeeping same in anything else there's always going to be that one thing that stands out that more than likely you can exploit so it's interesting i want to see what it's like i hope the the 1v1s is a bit more challenging so hopefully this defensive element shows us a little bit more on what we can actually do to counteract that so we're going to have a look at this and then we'll stop at the end take back possession with active touch okay so so what was it just a challenge i suppose hopefully this does get rid of new ball analysis that's a new section they're not really given as much i i understand we're still a couple of months away so they're not leading all secrets but that just seems like tackling to me. That that doesn't seem like much. Um, obviously, it's more than likely the last man challenging. If I can go... Oh, there we go. Oh, so it's, it's 10 seconds. So it is that last ditch challenge by the looks of it. Um, being able to kind of actually take the ball away from them. Which hopefully that, that kind of uh, eliminates the constant tackling and then winning the ball still. That is the most frustrating thing when you've done five or six challenges and they've still got the ball. Obviously, if it's not a great challenge, you're not going to win the ball back. But that looks like it actually could be quite interesting. So that could counteract the 1v1s. I think that's something that it probably is. Um, new, new ball uh, physics. Let's have a look. What have we got then? Uh, physics driven ball movement. I like that already. Ah, that looks stunning. So what are we looking at? It looks it looks more like dynamic passes, if anything, like really clean, kind of kind of the the curved passes. All of them. Um, is is that it? Oh no. So so yeah, that relatively looks like it's trying to use the angles a little bit better. I think when it comes to the the the, uh, the curved passing and everything like that, I think it's been a little bit lacking. Um, there is obviously elements of it, but I think when you can shoot as a finesse, you should be able to pass like a finesse. I think that should be an option. Whether we see something along them lines, do you know what I mean? When you, you're curving it round, rather than it kind of be having the slight indent, it's going to actually have a real curve on it. That could be something interesting. We've got composed finishing as the next section. We've got 30 seconds more, more clinical 1v1s. I think that's a big thing this year. I think the keepers, especially with the movement, if, if it's right, it becomes very, very tricky with 1v1s. This looks looks really good. I, I like it. I, lo I love the layoff to yourself. Kind of what's that? So find out I'm already a. So, okay, so that's it. What what else have we got to finish it? Just so we can see, we will have a whole run through and have a look just as an overview. Oh, we got the celebration. That's awesome. So even I I could do that in FIFA, but I can't do that in real life. The the Delhi Alley thing. I, I I don't I don't know. Um, okay. I'm, I'm interested. Volta looks incredible. I can't wait to have a look at that properly um, in-game. Hopefully, there's a beta out at some point. More than likely, midway through August, we're going to see someone along them lines. But unfortunately, we can't actually do any videos on that. They kind of prohibit that. They, they stop that. But it doesn't stop us talking about it. So we can possibly have a look at that if we do get invited. But... In general, that looks all right. I'm I'm very excited. I think FIFA FIFA 19's okay at the minute, but I think it's it's definitely dying uh, dying out pretty quickly. Unless they do something massive, I think Batch Two was a nice nice little uh, inject of a bit of mo uh, motivation. Batch Three looks like it could be actually insane if they do it right. Um, and then after that, I just don't think they're gonna really really bother with anything unless they put everything in packs i, I don't know but I, I can't imagine they will um but footage looks like the last one i think it takes us all the way to i think mid or kind of start of august i want to say i'm not 100 percent of the dates um but we're going to go back and have a look at this trailer as a, a whole and kind of see what we're what we're looking at in full motion so obviously set pieces I'm pretty happy with. I think that will be very interesting. Uh, it looks actually really decent. I'd like to see how the saving element is compared to it. Free kicks looks like it could be very interesting. I think that's something that I'm very excited about. Um, something that they've not really touched on too much. So that could be interesting. This... I just pray it's not the new meta. I hope that isn't what it is. But you never know with the combat of, of obviously this defensive tactic. It could be something decent. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very interested in them physics and see how it actually works. Um, new ball physics, hopefully that is more curved passing. Kind of all them through balls that actually go to the player that you want. Um, obviously as well, the, the uh, composed finishing. Be very interesting. Uh, personally, I'm not a time finish player. Um, I will probably learn in FIFA 20 if it is there. Um, and I think it is in, still in FIFA 20, I want to say. Um, so I'll definitely be learning that and kind of going through the elements, going through like 
tutorials of obviously to start with we've just got a notification um yeah so it'll, it'll be interesting i'm i'm really excited for fifa 20 and i really want to put all my all into it um and really get an, a good team for it so yeah, there, there's your reaction for FIFA 20. It's my first ever reaction, actually. So let me know how we did. And what do you think about FIFA 20? What are you hoping for the most? What is the one element that you would like to either change or keep the same in FIFA 20? Let me know down below what you think and let me know how excited you are down below as well. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.